And I'd like to mention the stories of Irene's great grandmothers. Irene's great grandma, Vera, Vadim's grandmother. When she was a young girl in the Russian Empire in the 1920s, they were pogroms. Uh, neighbors found out that there was going to be a pogrom in their village, and they warned them. Uh, Vera was about 10 years old. Her father was a baker, he had a little business. He put all his family in a wagon. He piled loaves of bread on top of them, and he left the town, so nobody would know that he's actually taking his family out of town. They lost everything. They lost their house, they lost their business, but they were alive. So his wife, his four children, that's how they survived. Uh, Great-grandma Vera uh, lived a very long life, but even when she was a very old lady, she remembered hiding in the wagon, and with her every move, the loaves of bread would shift around her. Uh, her son, Dedushka Naum, he is here right now. He is here right now. So she was a very strong woman. Moving on, great grandma Kenya, my grandma. She left her little town, Mistechka, in Belarus, just before the Second World War. When the war started, she had a big family a husband, a tiny little baby, and six siblings. During the war, she, her mother, her two little sisters were killed by the Nazis. Uh, her two brothers died fighting the war. Her husband died from hunger during the siege of Leningrad. She was a very young woman. She lost most of her family. She was left with a small son all alone. She survived, she thrived, she lived a long life, she was a very strong woman. Her son, Dedushka Fima, is here today. Uh, the third great-grandma, great-grandma Eva, Vitek's grandma. She was a young woman when the Second World War started. She had a five-year-old daughter and she had to take care of, of the little child and both her parents and her parents and all. At one point, they were on a train going eastward, trying to get away from the war. Uh, sadly, today you hear very similar stories on the news, uh, but that was 80 years ago. They traveled on the train for several days. At one stop, just like in the movies, she got out to get some water and just like in the movie, the train started to move, left the station, she couldn't get on it, and luckily she got on another train and finally got reunited with her family uh, the next day. She didn't think much about it, she didn't talk much about it, it was something she had to do and she did it. She was a very strong woman. She lived a very long life, and her daughter, Babushka Luda, is here today. Great grandma Anya, my grandma. During the Second World War, she worked as a translator for the army. And as a result, her food ration was a little bigger than for a regular person. It was big enough so she kept her and her family alive during the siege of Leningrad. But she felt that she had enough and she could probably save another life. She talked to some friends and she was introduced to a young man who was on the verge of dying from hunger. She shared food with him, he was a stranger at the time, and this way she saved his life. They became lifelong friends and many, many years later, in the 60s, they actually got married. Uh, and that was the only grandfather, not my biological grandfather, but the only grandfather I actually ever knew and loved. Great grandma Anya was a strong and wise woman. She lived a long life, and her daughter is here today. It's Babushka Asya. So, Irish 
Mishka, all four of your great grandmothers were strong, they were kind, they were wise, and they were courageous. Your tree of life has really good, strong roots. And I can see that you grew up following in their footsteps. You are strong, you are kind, and you are wise. And in choosing a husband, being a wise young woman, you chose really green well. <laughs> we are very proud of you. We are very happy for you today.